In this Lords of the Fallen video, I bring you a complete guide on the brand new quest line called The Way of the Bucket. The exact steps you need to complete in order to get this quest done, the amazing rewards you will earn, and we will also check out, guys, the best places for you to get the six brand new spells that have been added into the game. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So the latest update for Lords of the Fallen added in some cool new things. In this guide I bring you everything you need to know. Now if there's something you are looking for, one of the new spells, don't forget use the timestamps in the video description. We will firstly cover the way of the bucket, this new quest line, and then we will get onto the spells. So first things first, the way of the bucket is a brand new quest line which sees you interacting with an NPC you may have already encountered early on in the game, the bucket guy. Okay so this starts with you grabbing yourself a new gesture, the bucket head salute. This is located from the vestige of Chaibiri, uh, so follow this path I take on screen now guys to grab this very important item for this quest line. So from this point guys we now need to go visit the bucket guy. So follow this path from the gestures location to the bucket guy. Now if this is your first time coming to speak with him, that's great. Next to him will be loot for you to pick up. This includes the bucket weapon which I believe is very important to trigger this quest line. Now from here, if you try and speak to him, you do not get a response. What you need to do guys is unequip everything you have equipped and then just equip the bucket that you just picked up from this location. If you picked up this bucket at an earlier date and you do not have it anymore, I do not believe you can progress this quest. If anyone knows if that's factual, do let us know down below. But if you do need that bucket, if you do need it to progress this quest line and you don't have it, join my discord link down below and someone there will 100% help you out. So with that bucket equipped and nothing else, now you have to use three gestures in the correct order to trigger this quest. These gestures are the greeting, the pointing downward, and then the one we just picked up, the bucket head salute. Use these in that order and then speak to the bucket guy. You will now get dialogue pop up stating the pride of the bucket lords has been reaffirmed. So from this point guys you now need to find 12 pride of the bucket lord items and these items are scattered around the game. The game rewards you them for taking out a variety of different bosses. Now there is some very important information you need to take note of. You have to bring 4 of these pride of the bucket lord items at a time not three and not five collect four of them and then head back to him so with there being 12 in total you need to collect you'll revisit him three times upon you grabbing the first four then the second four and then the third four now as i said these pride of the bucket lord items drop from various different bosses now if you've already defeated these bosses and you're still on that playthrough simply return to their boss arena areas you'll be able to grab these said items as they will be waiting there for you. 
Now the items you get from said bosses and the order in which you get said items does not matter. As long as you only hand in 4 at a time, you can get them from any of the 12 bosses I will now showcase. So let's go and grab the first 4. So the first boss you will come up against is called Scourge Sister Delph. So from the vestige of Che Biri, actually right by the bucket guy, uh, follow this path I take on screen now. Remember, if you've already beat this boss or any of the bosses I will showcase today, the item will be there waiting for you. So the second boss is the Mistress of Hounds. So from the bow room vestige of blind Agatha, follow this path I take on screen now. I do actually go down this lift. Now if you don't have this lift unlocked yet, simply follow this path I take on screen now to unlock it. Now once you are at the bottom of this elevator, continue on and follow this path and go and get that second item you need. The third boss is the Sacred Resonance, again from the Bowroom Vestige of Blind Agatha, 
follow the path I take on screen now. Now we're going to head to the right facing that lift, uh, but to get through this door you do need the Pilgrim's Perch key. This is obtained from Stallman back at Skyrest, we don't have it already. But follow the path I take on screen now guys, to this boss arena, do what you gotta do and grab this item. So the fourth boss we will come against is a Crimson Merchant Perceval. Okay so from the vestige of the Pale Butcher, follow this path I take on screen now. Now what I do know is there is an issue some people are having with this item not actually appearing there for them. And it's to do with Demirose's quest line where Demirose might indeed take this boss out, meaning it somehow voids the item being here. Many players have experienced this issue and as of right now I haven't found a fix myself. I guess there may be a workaround for this but if there ain't devs must be aware of this issue and a fix may come in the near future. Okay, so with four of these items at hand, head back to the bucket guy from the vestige of Chebui. Okay, so once you get to him, interact with him and hand over the pride of the Bucket Lords. Here guys, it should give you the Bucket Lord shoes. Okay, so now we go and collect a further four more of these items. Okay, so the first one of the second set of four we're going to get is from the Runa boss who is found upon that bridge. The closest vestige is the vestige of Eliard, so follow the path I take on the screen now guys and grab this item. The next boss which beholds one of these items is a Guardian Full Art. So from the vestige of Marco the Axe, you need to come in this direction and through this door, this pathway. 
follow this path as I do a round guide to this boss arena and do what you gotta do to get this item. Okay, so the next boss is the Grief Band Rowena boss. So from the Vestige of 4 nil, follow this path I take on screen now and do what you gotta do guys to get the third of this second set of four items. Okay, so the final one of the second set of four comes from the Infernal Enchantress boss. So from the Vestige of Sebastian, follow this path I take on the screen now guys and go grab this item. Okay, so with the second set of four items collected, head back to that bucket guy again from the vestige of Che Bowie. So hand them in guys and here should give you the Bucket Lord Helm. Okay so from this point guys we're going to go and grab the final four we need. So the first boss we're going to come up against is the Abiding Defenders. Okay, so from the vestige of Brother Jeremiah, follow this path I take on screen now. Now it's quite a trek, but go as I go and you should be good. 
Now upon you taking out these two bosses, you'll get the first of the third set of the four we need to collect. Okay, so the next boss is the Carrier Knight boss. So this boss is located from the same vestige that we used to grab that last item, but it does require you to grab a key to get to this area. So we'll speed it up until we get to a point you will be familiar with if you watch that last path. So again guys, from the vestige of Brother Jeremiah, follow the path I take on screen now. So once you get here guys, follow this path to grab this key, which will be laying where I'm hitting my weapon within this hole. Once you have this key, follow this path I take to this area where this boss is found, just before the Tower of Penance.
Okay, so the next boss we will come up against to get one of these items is the best Ursula. So from the last item we just picked up people from the carrier night boss upon the Tower of Penance, follow the path I take on screen now. Here guys, the boss will be waiting for you if you've already taken out the boss, just simply grab this item as I do on screen now. Okay, so the very last item we need comes from the Skin Stealer boss. Now, if you haven't been here already, the nearest vestige is a vestige of Katrin, so follow this path I take on screen now. Or if you've already been down here and be in this boss, you can always take the lift down from the vestige of the Forgotten Guardian in Upper Calrath. So spawn in here, take the lift down, and this item should be here waiting for you. Okay, so now guys, you have your third final set of four items to hand into that bucket guy. So again, guys, go and visit him from the vestige of Chape Bow. Hand these items in. Now once you do, you won't actually get anything but dialogue stating Seek Gold Amidst Flames. This clue leads us to the prize of this quest. So from here guys, head to the vestige of Lydia the Non Witch. And from here, follow the path I take on screen now to this secret room that's opened up and what awaits you is this brand new item. So once you get here guys, you will get and pick up the Gilded Bucket and this thing is pretty cool. Leveling up to a level 10 will see you get two secret attacks where you can send out wooden spikes to hurt those enemies around you and in front of you. One is tied to single hand mode, the other is tied to two handed mode. So yes, pretty cool indeed. And there we have it guys, the Wear the Bucket new secret quest and its rewards, a complete guide on it. Okay, so now we'll move on to the six brand new spells also added with this update. Now these all drop from certain enemies who you will have to farm, they are not guaranteed drops. 
So what I'll do is I'll showcase to you guys the best places that I believe you can farm said enemies for these new spells. Okay, so the first spell we have is the Pallid Bile. This you can see in action on screen now. Okay, so this drops from the womb of the spear on raw enemies. You know those creepy looking enemies who spike you and sling you over their shoulders? Yes, the ears drops from them. Now, the best one I believe you can farm is from the Vestige of Cheberi. I mean, this one's quite simple. It's early game too. So do as I do on screen now, guys. Follow this path I take. You will have to enter that Umbral Realm eventually. But do as I do, guys, and farm this enemy. I mean, if it doesn't drop for you the first time, simply repeat, rotate back down to that Vestige and rinse and repeat this farm. Next up guys, we have the Sepik Heave. Now this drops from the Shuja Strive enemies. Now the best place I've seen to get these takes place right near the Vestige of Valade. Now what I'll do is guys, I'll just come in at this Vestige point, run as I do on screen now guys, take out this single one, then simply run back, rest and repeat. Again, these are not guaranteed drops. Some of these may take you up to like 20 minutes to farm, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Next up guys, we have the Rising Fire. This drops from the Infernal Enchantress enemies. Now the one I found, and I think it's quite easy to actually get to, is from the Vestige of Dawn. So do as I do on screen now guys, and follow this path I take to this boss. Now, I do believe there is a seed that we can farm this boss from, which will make things a lot easier too. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Blistering Salvo. This drops from those Trostolite enemies. Now from here guys, there's one located near the vestige of the Forgotten Garden. So spawn in here people, and follow the path I take on screen now to this boss. Remember, you will have to run back to the vestige to rest and repeat the farm if you ain't looking at that first time.
Next up guys, we have the Tolling. This drops from the Sacred Resonance enemies. Uh, for me guys, I think the easiest one to farm is takes place from the Vestige of Brother Jeremiah. It meets right near this Vestige point, so I'll do as I do on screen now guys, follow this path I take and farm this enemy within this room until you get this to drop. And lastly guys, for the 6 bars, we have the Vortex of Torment. This drops from the Scourge Sister enemies. Now I found one of these right near the Vestige of Rosamond. So do as I do on screen now guys, run up to this enemy, take them out, rinse and repeat. And hopefully guys, you get what you deserve. Now there may be other better farms for these enemies in the game. If you know of any, please let everybody else know and myself included down below. But well, there we have it guys. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.